Hello and welcome to my series Learn Radiology with Dr. Neil Joshi. Today's topic is about CT scan, CT physics and that also about imaging matrix. Before starting lecture, disclosure, acknowledgement and disclaimers. Most of the material we are using in the series, using in the lecture is our own. However, some of the material we have downloaded from net which we have confirmed are royalty free. We acknowledge with thanks from those who have got this material but it is going to be used for educational purpose. We acknowledge again, we acknowledge with thanks their contribution towards our uh, teaching series or students learning series. With this brief introduction, let us go into what is a matrix. Matrix is a basic for the image and the image is important as far as resolution is concerned. If we want to obtain a good quality image, image with good resolution, we have to understand what is matrix. Now, how it is important factor in uh, determining image quality? Let us know subsequently. Importance of signals, importance of resolution, importance of distortion and noise in characteristic or you want to characterize a image performance, these things are important. And why they are important? Because you can reduce them. So, if you know them, you can reduce them and you can obtain a best quality image which is important for interpretation. In this lecture, we will concentrate on matrix which is important in display of the image. From a set of these measurements, a digital image is calculated to represent the attenuation coefficient of the material in the object or let us call it in simply as a tissue specification. The MAP is the collection of the pixels that is picture elements, typically a square array of 512 pixels on a side. When multiple slices are collected into a volume data set, the 3D map becomes a collection of voxels that is the volume element. In computer terms, in computer language, the original measurements may consist of 16 bits that is the data or uh, allowing a range of values spanning a factor of 64,000 whereas the reconstruction images typically are 8 to 12 bit data that is a range of 4095. It is assumed that the signals are proportional to the physical properties of the displayed object which means that if the density of the contrast medium in a voxel doubles, the pixel value will also increase by a factor of 2. Magnitude of such change is characterized by contrast which is a variation of the local value from the surrounding values. For a displayed image in a digital system, the bit depth of the data determines the smallest recordable change resolution. Now, these all aspects we know because we want to make a better image. The term resolution characterizes the ability of an imaging system to detect changes in the signals. The term arises in the several different contexts in image operations like spatial, temporal or in resolution, in both type of resolution, spatial or temporal resolution, the term is important or this comes. The ability of an imaging system to record a change between the different points in a space depends on the resolution. So, good resolution machine can separate two point of nearest distance. Depending on that, the resolution of the machine is decided. There are three aspects in any image. One is called a pixel second is called as field of vision and third is called as a matrix. Pixel, voxel, field of vision and matrix are the three important aspect. Out of that here, we have taken pixel and voxel together. Now, a resolution, a relationship exists between the size of the pixel, the size of the matrix and the field of vision. The matrix size can be changed without affecting the FOV and the FOV can be changed without affecting the matrix size. But however, a change in either the matrix size and or FOV changes the size of the pixel. Now interesting, I am going to explain to you this 
in this lecture also and at the end of the lecture there is a summary for that with the help of a diagram. Now let us go individual to a pixel. The size of the pixel is directly related to the amount of this partial resolution or detail in the image. For example, a smaller the pixel is greater are the details. Pixel size may change when the size of the matrix or the FOV changes. So, these all are interlinked and the interrelation is important. Pixel bit depth. Each pixel contain pieces of bits or information. The number of bits within the pixel is known as a pixel bit depth. A pixel has a bit depth of 8 when the number of gray tones that pixel can produce is 2 to the power of the bit depth or 2 raised to 8 that is 256 shades of the gray which is our routine sitting machines. The digital system has bit depth of 10 to 16 resulting in more shades of gray. So, better resolution machines are also available. Each pixel can have a gray level. The gray level will be a factor in determining the image contrast resolution. Now, is a field of vision. The term FOV that is the field of vision is synonymous with the X-ray field. In other words, it is the amount of body part or the patient included in the image that is called as the field of vision. The larger the field of vision, more area is image for obvious purpose, a simple to understand. Change in FOV will not affect the size of the matrix. However, change in matrix will affect the picture pixel size. This is because the matrix increases. For example, 512 into 512 to 1024 into 1024 and FOV remains the same size, the pixel size must decrease to fit into the matrix. Now we come to the matrix that is the topic of this lecture. The image is represented as a matrix of the number. Matrix is, is two dimensional array of number arranged in a row and columns. Each individual element or number in the image matrix represent a three dimensional volume element in the object called as voxel. The voxel is represented in the image as the two dimensional element called as a pixel that is the pixel element. Now, pixel and voxel, if you are finding it difficult in understand, there is a different lecture covering full details of it. Do visit the website, do visit the imaging uh, gallery, you will find all these things in the website. So, also on our YouTube channel, continuing with the matrix. Here, I can tell you in better ways to understand. Now, you see the first body part that is a cross section of the body, it has got certain matrix that usually we have seen is 512 into 512. Now, it is consisting of the voxel. Voxel is a volume. Please note, voxel is a volume. It is three dimensional. So, you are seeing one element of the matrix is a voxel and a pixel is a surface area of it that is a two dimensional thing. So, CT pixel is determined by dividing the FOV by matrix size which is generally 512 into 512. The field of vision is the diameter of the body region area being imaged for example 25 centimeter from the head or 40 centimeter from the abdomen are the slices you are seeing they are imaged. A matrix is a square arrangement of the number of columns and rows and the digital imaging the number correspond to the discrete pixel values. Each box within the matrix also correspond to a specific location in the image and correspond to a specific area of patient's tissues. The image is digitalized both by position that is partial location and by intensity that is the gray level. The typical number of pixel in a matrix range from 512 into 512 or 1024 into 2024 and can be as large as 2500 into 2500. The size of the matrix determines the size of the pixel. This is all we are seeing and we are revising after seeing the image. 
in case if you are finding a little difficulty in understanding please go through our or heard our here please uh, go to our lecture that is about the pixels and voxels and then come to this lecture you will have better understanding of the matrix for example if you have a 10 into 12 by 10 by 12 and 14 by 17 computed radiographic cassette and both have a 512 into 512 matrix then the 10 by 12 cassette will have smaller pixel size got it yes with that we are ending our lecture i thank you for giving your kind attention if you like the lecture tell your friends give us a like and subscribe to our channel thank you goodbye and good luck